Hi, I'm RJ Straw, aka Young Shepherd, owner of RJ's Cuties and BarnumWeb.com. Welcome to Video Cast 5. Today we're going to talk about practice. I practiced a lot of my roping today. I practiced a lot of my roping today, and we had lots of fun at it. I tried no, I tried nosing the calves over because they're getting too big for me to flank, and I can't flank them very easily. So I try nosing them, and sometimes they don't cooperate very well, and they fall the wrong way that I want. And it makes it very hard for me to tie them, but I still try to get them to go the right way even if they don't cooperate. This one, I, after I got him down, I decided I was just going to tie him the left-handed, so I string him, and I go for the back legs. And I started. he started straining on me while I was trying to tie, so it didn't go very easily. And then I just decided I was going to start redo and try again. That's what practice is for. Good thing it wasn't in the arena where the time really counts. Dad said he'd help keep the rope tight since uh, the horse was in a corner and he couldn't back up anymore. So I got ready and I was going for round two. We go again. And here we go this time. And the calf's still not wanting to go. He goes down and he rolls over the wrong way. So, go back for round three. I shoot dog him over. Then I get behind him, string him. Two reps and a hooey and we're done. That's what it that's what it's supposed to look like. And then I kinda was amazed I was able to do that. Now here's a real run of what it's supposed to look like, but it doesn't always go that way. Ropes around his neck, get off, run down the rope, nose him over, string him, two reps and a hoey, and you're done. Sometimes things don't go very well, fumbled a little bit of my string, but still I got it done in a reasonable amount of time. We tied this kiff down, she stood up, so we decided we were going to tie her again. We try to practice tying a lot, it's easier to rope them once than it is to so that way they don't have the stress of being roped again and we get to practice tying. Works real nice and as long as they don't get up we're good. I had lots of fun at it. Now this is what it's really supposed to look like. You string him, two reps, hooey. That's what it's supposed to look like. Here's another one for you. String him, two reps and a hooey. A little bit of a fumble there but not bad. After all that I decided I was going to try my blankets out on Grover. They didn't work for the sheep, so we thought I'd try them on Grover. He did real good at modeling. They work great for the goats, so Mom's going to put the leg straps on them, and we're going to start using them. I think we're going to pick a bunch of the hay out of them first, because the fiber mill said that it had a little too much hay in it. So he did real great at standing there, and he didn't really like it for a while. I made Mom a cake today after all that. Uh, it's just a box cake and a cake mix out of a box that I made and canned frosting as you can see but dad and I cook tonight it is pizza a take and bake pizza and Pepsi which is really good in other news we have ready mix I went to flying cow and I'm winning the all around by three points I got second in tie down and third in the ribbon roping I didn't do any good in my steer stopping or any of my other steer events in 4-H news, I'm helping Gage put on a 4-H roping clinic, which is going to be lots of fun. It's going to be April 14th. We're still working on getting everything else lined out. That's all I can really say right now. In entertainment, we I watched The Rare Breed and found some Rawhide episodes, which are really fun to watch. And they get into lots of trouble. Thanks for watching, but be sure to watch for the exciting ending. I know you guys are tired of seeing this picture, but this is Angel and where she came from, and she looked really bad then, but she looks great today, and this is her very first ride, and she can't put, we can't put a saddle on her because the weight of her and me in the saddle is too much for her back. She can hold herself up, but not without it making her sore and stuff because she's put on weight so fast. But it's great that she can get around and I can actually ride her bareback. As you can see from the expression on my face, I'm pretty proud.